Welcome to our first uh, post in Hong Kong Meet and Chat series, first episode, Polish Students in Hong Kong. My name is Nancy Tree. 欢迎各位,今天收看晴天波兰的居语讲波兰人系列的第一集,是香港的波兰学生,是我身边的是今日的嘉宾中大,就读于香港中文大学的Mata,我跟住就会用英文来跟Mata倾偈的啦。Okay, let's uh, switch back to English. So this is a proper introduction. Our guests of today, Mata Grammatica, yes. who is a student at Chinese University of Hong Kong. Yes. And yes. you are studying BA in Chinese studies. Yes. Right. Okay. So, Jin Dobri, Mata. Jin Dobri. Okay. Thank you for um, becoming our first guest of our Post in Hong Kong series. And uh, it's really um, very happy to have you. And uh, first thing first, I really want to comment on your name, Mata Grammatica. I yes. love it because it is so easy to pronounce compared to other Polish oh, names. Yes, and it's quite unique as well. And yeah, I, I like it as well. Well, I know a lot of friends with the name Mata, but Grammatica, it is uh, not a common Polish name. I uh, no, no, not common at all. Okay, I actually tried to Google this afternoon, and uh, that results that that there are actually fewer than five hundred grammatica in Poland. Oh. I, I don't I know what that's true or not, but uh, maybe if we bump into somebody with this name. Chances are they might be your relatives or at least distant relatives. Probably, yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> it's definitely not a very uh, very common last right. name. Do you have a big com uh, big family yourself? Um, not that big, yes. but uh, from what I remember, my grandma had like 10 siblings, so okay. uh, I, I didn't know these people, but, uh, right. but from, from the family stories. Okay, yeah. and how, how many um, siblings do you have? Uh, just one, one sister. Sister, um, and yes. her name is? Uh, her name is Maya. Maya, oh, yes. it's easy to pronounce, so it's yeah, Mata very easy. <laughs> and Maya. Yes. Nice. So, Mata, where are you from? Please tell us. Um, I'm from Krakow, um, right. in, in Poland. Yes. So, it's in the southern part of Poland. Okay. Um, yeah, and I spent most of my life there. Okay. Yes. And I suppose if you're close to Krakow, then mm -hmm. uh, you will like hiking very much. It's so close to the mountains, right? Um, yes, but actually I didn't hike very often <laughs> when in, in Poland. Poland. No? Yeah, because... Um, it still takes around one or one and a half hour to go to the mountains. Okay. And I didn't have that much time. I see. Um, yeah, usually. Okay. So, yeah, but I like hiking. Nice. Um, so tell us, I'm really intrigued when I learned that uh, you're now studying Chinese studies here. Yes. So tell me more. Um, why do you like Chinese studies? Why do you choose this? Uh, so I, I really like foreign cultures in general. And um, I think Chinese culture is different enough to be very interesting for me. Um, and I, I just would like to learn more. Um, I started studying Chinese when I was around 15 or 16. Back in like Poland that. at yes, the time. Yes, back in Poland. Um, and I really loved the language, even though it's very hard. Yes. But I, I find it very fascinating. So I wanted to learn about uh, other aspects of the Chinese culture, not but, not only the language. But was it a compulsory um, language choice that you have to choose Chinese uh, or no, no? No, it was outside of the school. Just interest class. Yes, I yes. say. So you actually chose Chinese. Yeah. Yes, and then uh, and then every year you continue to study. Uh, yes, yes, I, I continued. Um, it was more casual, so I just had maybe one lesson per week. So it was not very intense, but uh, but yeah, I really liked it. But what did you learn um, at that time in Poland? Is uh, verbal or also writing or the uh, characters as well? Back then, it was mostly writing because I didn't have many chances to speak. Okay. Um, but yeah, now in, in Hong Kong, all of my courses at the university focus more on speaking and mm. communication. Okay. Speaking of Hong Kong, so tell us, Chinese studies, you have a lot of cities you can choose to study. So yeah. why do you end up in Hong Kong? Um, so there are a few reasons. So I visited Hong Kong before as a tourist okay. and I really liked the atmosphere. It was very vibrant and also pretty international. So there are a lot of different perspectives. Um, it, there, there is a lot of people from different countries. So I think it's a very nice environment to study because you can, you can learn 
everything from multiple perspectives. Yes. Um, so yes. when you applied for university, you applied for Chinese studies. Do you only apply to Hong Kong, or you also applied to another city in Asia? Um, the the other choice was a university located near Shanghai. Right. Um, but also yeah, in Chinese studies or Oriental uh, yes, studies. Yes, Chinese studies. Okay. So but the same major. At the end, you chose Hong Kong. Yes. Oh, yes. we're very happy for your choice. <laughs> And uh, is there any other special reason that uh, you? I understand you actually got a scholarship, right? Yes. And uh, tell us more about the scholarship that you got. Uh, so I, I got it for my results in high school. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, so uh, since the university um, has a lot of international students, okay. um, they they give quite a lot of scholarships for uh, for for people to study okay. um yeah so that's actually a scholarship from cu from chinese uh, yes, university yes, yes but i guess you have to study up to a certain level in yes. order to get that Th there is a certain gpa that i need to get okay uh, so you need to work hard <laughs> yes. right so okay you yes. need to get that okay nice so um back to now hong kong you are now um international student can yes. you tell us a bit more about your life at Chinese university, do you make friends? Uh, yes, I, I made a lot of friends. Yes. Uh, so starting from my roommate, um, Your she's, roommate. she's local. Um, I think we have a picture of her. Oh, this is actually, I missed all that. You have, um, yeah, this, this is, is me in Hong, Hong Kong, Kong sometime last year. Sometime last year. <laughs> yes. Okay, and you were walking, it must be, well, still warm, but it's very strange now. We are, in November, <laughs> but we're still wearing in yeah, it's it's still very warm. Right. And then, yes. um, okay. So this is the photo. Yes. Tell us more. What is this? So this is a picture from last year's mm -hmm. high table dinner in my yes. college. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, yeah, basically it was the, the first high table dinner that year. Um, how often is it uh, held? Usually it's once a month, okay. but due to the, pandemic of course we, we don't have it anymore okay um yes but uh I, I, as you can see the the main point of this dinner it's it's a little bit more fancy and we are wearing college gowns right um yeah and it, it's just an opportunity to meet with all of the people from and this is the um all the students from your college at chinese university uh, or yeah university? yeah they are all from my college of course um, they are both international and, and locals, and yeah. And so, uh, you are studying at Morningside. Yes, uh, Morningside College, College at yeah. Chinese University. Yes. Okay, because they have a special arrangements that divide it into colleges. Yeah, and uh, most international students are with uh, Morningside. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. So your roommate is um, is there? Yes. Yes. The 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 first girl on. On the left, with uh, the glasses like yeah. me, and yes. then uh, doing the very cute. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, so this is my my roommate, and she's from Hong Kong. Uh, yeah, she's okay. from Hong Kong, and you got on very well with your roommate. Uh, yes. Yeah, so right now she cannot stay on campus due to like the the social distancing rules. Okay. But we still meet outside of campus, okay. and we are trying to to keep in touch. Nice. quite often and you must have learned um it's very helpful to have a roommate from hong kong you must have yes. learned some hong kong um yes. words or cantonese yes yes what are the, can you you know say to <laughs> you know tell us what are the words that you um, find is very useful so um, the, the first word or maybe not the first but one of the words that i learned is yes. gayao gayao wow okay yeah. right this then, is a good one yes. yeah uh then very useful one useful. for traveling is Yao Lok. Yao Lok, because yeah. you're taking the minibus. Yeah, for, for <laughs> taking the minibus. Well, it's, mind you, in Hong Kong, foreigners will know this is probably the most difficult transportation to take. It's very difficult, but yes, I, I this, manage. You manage, because yeah. I have to explain to the non-Hong Kong people, this is really like um, a minibus with no fixed stops. <laughs> yes. And then uh, every time you said Yao Lok, that means I want to get off. So this is yes. very helpful. And you need to actually um, uh, sound out. You have to say loud so that the driver can yes. hear you, right? It, it's very, um, very stressful sometimes because <laughs> I'm not used to this yes. kind of behavior to, to yes. basically yell. Yell loud, for, yes. But yes. this is a good one. Okay. Is there any other one that uh, you um, remember? Okay. Yeah, very, very useful one is just mngoi. Mngoi, of course. It's, thank you. Yeah, it's used for 
<laughs> in, in a lot of situations. Nice. Um, yeah. I, I mostly know some basic words for now. Okay, so, that is good. And of course, it's helpful to have a, a roommate with yes. you. Yes. Okay. So tell us more about uh, what else. Are there any other events that are held at CU? That uh, you there are, uh, right now, it's mostly online events, yes. like online um, webinars or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But last year, um, we had a few events like uh, the International Night, okay. for example. That sounds very uh, interesting. Yeah, so this is the, the picture from the International Night, which um, uh, I, I think it's around October, November last year. Yes, and it's a big group of um, people. Yeah, yeah, and it these were mostly the international students from okay. my year. Okay, um, what do you do at the International Night? So um, it's basically like a show Uh, mm -hmm. which combines um, elements of different cultures, mm -hmm. like uh, the cultures of, of all of us. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, it was quite interesting. Um, yes. Are you the only Polish student there? Yes. So... I, I think I'm the only Polish student <laughs> in Hong Kong, uh, at least on undergraduate level. <laughs> okay. We so... have to find other Polish students um, yeah. for you. I'm sure there will be more, <laughs> but uh, we just don't know about them yet. And uh, so what do you do at the International Night? Um, I was mostly helping with the operations okay. because I'm not much of an actor. Okay. Uh, but yeah, um, so I was mostly just um, in the event, event uh, preparation team. All right. Okay. This sounds very good. It's a very good way to integrate yourself into yeah. the life and get to meet other. I suppose there will be other students from Europe, right? Yeah, there are a few. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Okay. So, um, So what other things um, do you like to do? And uh, actually, what do you like about Hong Kong? I, I like everything. <laughs> everything that's good um, to hear. Yeah. Um, I like the atmosphere. That's, atmosphere? that's the first thing. Um, I think it's re really amazing. Um, I like, yeah, I, I like a lot. I like food. I like the people. I like just uh, the, how the city looks like. You don't mind the noise or how quick everybody seems to be going. Sometimes <laughs> it's it's a little bit tiring, but yes. then it it's also very like um, very lively. Okay. So I, I like this. Right. This. How about you mentioned food? So yeah. what sort of food have you tried? Which are the ones that you like? I tried a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I like dim sum, of course. Okay, dim sum. Actually, we went together yes. for dim so, sum. Yes, so I, I really like dim sum. Um, I really like some desserts, uh, like the, the mango pudding. Mango pudding. Oh, mong hua pudding. Okay. Yeah, and uh, tofu hua. So yeah. this is the, the bean curd, the sweet yes. uh, bean curd. Yes. Okay. And I have to say, because we went for dim sum together and looking at this photo, <laughs> well, I don't know if uh, you can see, uh, Marta is actually very adventurous um, because yes. uh, you don't mind. Actually, you like the chicken feet. Yes, I, I like chicken feet. I like a lot of kind of local meals. Yes. I, I tried a lot of local yes. meals as well. Um, are there any special food you would like to try? Uh, I would like to try snake soup. Snakes. I haven't had a chance yet. Okay, well, uh, awesome when it's cool. But actually, yes. we have that in Wen Chai. So yeah. maybe we can so go you... together. So snake soup, it doesn't yeah. fit. But you know, the way that uh, we eat snake is not, not the soup. Yeah. It's also the blood and the bladder making alcohol and drink. Will you oh, try that? Okay. I guess I would like to try. Try and then decide um, if you love it or not. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that is a good thing of being adventurous. <laughs> so do you think that uh, your family, if they come, they will, you will take them to try all these uh, special um, things? I think they are not as adventurous are, as <laughs> I am. <laughs> so yeah. you're the most adventurous one? I, I think so. Okay, nice. And uh, so what else um, do you do apart from the dim sum and uh, in leisure time? Um, are there any activities that you like to do? Um, I like to take pictures because, okay. as I mentioned, I really like how the city looks like. Okay. Um, I like hiking. Okay. Um, and just yeah, going to a lot of different places. For example, kayaking. Kayaking. Or, uh, okay. Yeah. We have a picture yeah, of you uh, doing kayaking. Tell us um, more this, about this uh, picture. So uh, this is actually from this year, um, around August, I think. It was like the the end of the summer holiday. Um, 
yeah, and I went kayaking in Saikong with a few of my my friends. Do you do kayaking when you were in Poland? Um, I tried it maybe two or three times, but it was on the river, so it was quite different. And um, I didn't have that many places in Poland to, to <laughs> go right. kayaking. Okay. Yeah. So again, this shows that uh, you're really adventurous. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. And uh, speaking of adventures, um, we have been talking about uh, you going to the different uh, places in Hong Kong. Yes. Yes. And because uh, Hong Kong has a very good uh, subway station, so yes. it seems to be quite easy to go around. Yes. And uh, well, Marta is studying at uh, Chinese University, and so um, actually she has a stop um, in the middle, um, in the blue line, and mm -hmm. the stop is University. Yes. And so I suppose you have tried all the blue line, you already do your adventure? Yes, yes. So done, take your blue <laughs> yes. line. Okay. Yes. So do you find it um, easy or confusing when you are using the Hong Kong subway station? Um, at first, it was a little confusing because some of the station names are pretty similar for me. Okay. I suppose um, it will be like here is Wen Choi, the, yeah. and then the, we also have Chai Wen. Yeah. So... Um, at first, it was a little confusing, but uh, by now I got used to it and I can get a lot get around nice. pretty pretty easily. So tell us which are the you know the lines, oh. the red lines or the green lines. Which yes. are the stops that you like to go? Um, I like to go to Mong Kok. Mong Kok. In, in general. Well, wow, this um, is the bustling, really the busy, <laughs> and uh, you see yeah. all the lives and activities. Yes. And you uh, you you like Mong Kok. I, I like it. Okay. I, I like the island as well. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, TST, of course. Sim Sai Chui? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and just recently, I went to Sham Shui Po. Sham Shui Po? Just to, just to walk around and discover. It was okay. also very interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to go to as many places as possible. So do you usually hang out with friends as your roommate to take you or you do your adventures solo by yourself? Um, both. both. It, it depends on... If my friends have time, um, or yeah, so it, it, so it you depends. don't you don't feel unsafe even though you go to a really local district like Sam Shui Po, oh, yeah. and then you probably are the only um, foreign girl there, and then yes, so you don't it, mind. And, I, I, I don't mind. Okay, and that's a good way to practice Cantonese anyway, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. So just curious, have you actually been to these tourist places like Ocean Park or Disneyland? Mm. I haven't been to those. Okay. Uh, mostly because I didn't have enough time because, uh, it's yeah, it's, very busy. It, it's you closed know? since, uh, since oh, that's pandemic, true. Right? pandemic. Yes. So, that's right. so yeah. Um, I wanted to go there, but I, I think right now it's still impossible or it, there is just a limited I number think of people. It's just open again, but yeah. I don't know. So, um, yeah, right suppose... now it's quite confusing. Okay. So these uh, are the, yet to be visit okay, yeah, places yeah. but there are many stops here yes a, um, a lot of places and lots of places that you can explore yes right and you know how to use your lot anyway so even <laughs> yeah. without the mtr station you can go there yeah. theoretically, theoretically. I'm, I'm, I'm trying <laughs> yeah i'm trying to go to local places as well all right place so um tell us a bit uh, now you have been in hong kong um almost um uh, almost a year yeah, right. more more than yeah, a year. Yeah, a little bit a over a year. So, yeah. what are the differences um, between Hong Kong and Poland that strike oh. you most? Oh, there are so many differences. Yeah. So the the lifestyle, as you mentioned before, it's very fast. Very fast, yes. Uh, in in Poland, it's more chill chilled out. Like chilled people out, yes. are more chilled out. Yes. And uh, yeah, no one is rushing anywhere. <laughs> but in in Hong Kong, especially in like Central or Mong Kok everyone is rushing um yeah and uh, the education system is very different as well um how different so here um the universities and i think the, the schools uh offer a lot of extracurricular activities some clubs um things like that and in, in poland it's not very popular usually okay. Schools don't offer anything besides regular classes. And if you want to learn something else, you need to go to another institution, which is not school. I say. Yeah. I think uh, that's probably the um, difference because Hong Kong is used to having a lot of international students. So yeah. that's why we have a lot of programs. Whereas I guess Poland is just starting 
to receive more international Probably. students and all the local students. You know how to where to go and how <laughs> yeah. to hang out. You don't need help from the the schools, I suppose. Yes, that's that's right. Yeah, but you you like the uh, activities that are organized. Uh, yeah, I, I like it. I got to meet a lot of new people mm -hmm. and. Um, Yeah, and also visit a lot of new places okay. with other international students or with local students as well. Right. So, and you don't mind the noise, right? Everybody is. Uh, we tend to speak quite loud, especially in dim sum restaurants. <laughs> yeah, I got used to it. You get used to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But is there anything in Poland that you miss sometimes? Uh, maybe sometimes actually this uh, peaceful atmosphere. Okay. Um, yeah. So sometimes uh, the 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 noise and. Um, everyone rushing is a little bit tiring, but um, but yeah, in general, I I really enjoy Hong Kong, so I I really like it. Okay, okay. Now we um, go back to Poland, mm -hmm. your hometown, and uh, so tell us a bit more about your life in in Poland. You said chill out. There's something that you yes. miss. Where will you go to chill out in Krakow? Um, so there, it's mostly either the old town. Uh, so the, the main market square or uh, around the castle by the Vistula River. Okay, so you mean the uh, uh, the Vavel Castle? We have a picture. Yes. So this yes. is your chill out time. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, there is like kind of in front of me when I was sitting there. There is a Vistula River. Yes. So it's a very nice spot for a, a lot of young people to to just hang out. And a lot of locals, you all go yeah. there, right? Yes. Um, I also like Kazimierz, which okay. is the Jewish district. Oh, right. Uh, it has a lot of local places or like um, artistic uh, shops, uh, handmade, handmade stuff and okay. yeah, things like that. Right. So it's a Jewish border. You yeah. can yeah. take yeah. anybody from, from Hong Kong to chill out. Yeah. That. Nice. Okay, we have a picture of you um at a bridge and uh, with some yes. you know padlocks. Tell us more about uh, who they are and uh, what so is this bridge? This is uh, these are my friends. Yes. Um. Yes, yeah, so I, I think um this picture was taken in winter, uh before I came to Hong Kong. Yeah, so it's I, very I believe cold. Everybody's wet, yes. Wrapped. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think it was December. Oh right. Um. Yeah, and this bridge. Um, it connects Kazimierz uh, okay. district okay. with another district, Podguja, okay. which is becoming more hipster-like district. Ooh, okay. uh, so, uh, yeah, it, it's still pretty new, but a lot of people go there as well. Okay. Um, And yeah. what are the padlocks behind you? Um, so usually the, the padlocks are just for for friends or basically any kind of relationships. Right. Um, yeah, for uh, so people put the padlocks on the bridge for okay. the relationship to last. Oh, I say. Yeah. So that is a good way to stroll in Krakow because yes. you can walk from one end to the other end. Yes. And then you can go to another district to, to chill. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So um, well, tell us if your, your friends in Poland, um, they're visiting Hong Kong, then uh, what are the places in Hong Kong Uh, what are the things that you would like to to show them? Um, so besides all of the very typical spots like <laughs> yeah the Victoria's Harbour, um, I would like to take them to the Big Buddha. The It's, Big Buddha. Yes. Oh, okay. It's, you went there? Yeah, I, I went there. Uh, I think it was January this okay, year. Okay, just before it shut down because of yes. the virus. Okay. Yes, <laughs> just before the virus, and it it was very very nice. Okay. Um. Yeah, and um, also the cable car. Oh, yes, 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 right. the cable car. Uh, yeah, and I would like to show them around in in general. Okay, so mm. all the places and the dim sum restaurants and the food yes, that, yes, you know, all the all the local okay. food. Any particular activity um, that mm. uh, you would like to maybe bring them to do together? Uh, so sometimes with with my friends, I go to escape rooms. Escape room in. Yeah. Poland, so you have that. Um, yeah, we oh, we okay. also have that in Poland. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, here in in Hong Kong, I'm I'm going there much more often. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, because my my roommate is a big fan <laughs> of that. So uh, okay. yeah. So you try all the escape rooms in Hong Kong? Uh, not all of them. Not yet. all of them. Okay. <laughs> so that is something. Yeah, that you just play. just a few uh few types. And you enjoy yeah. um escape room. Yes. I Are there any difference between the Polish escape rooms and the Hong Kong escape rooms? Um, so in, in Poland, I only tried one one brand. Yeah. And it's more 
um, kind of movie or horror like. Uh -huh. So there are actors okay. um, pretending to be some some characters, but okay. in, in Hong Kong there are no actors. Okay. So, yeah. so maybe if I go to Poland, you can take me to the escape yeah. room. <laughs> Well, I'll yeah. be quite scared and show up. But so if I go with you, it's, I think it's I'll be really right. nice. It's very nice. Yeah. Okay, I trust you. <laughs> all right. Okay, so um, what well, you still find time to do more things to promote Poland here? Yes, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, because I know you are uh, this month. You're going to help in some activities. Yes. By a social enterprise, uh, ICE. Yes. And uh, so tell us a bit more. What are you going to do with ICE? Um. Yeah. So um. ICE has um, every every month there is a thing called Explorers Month, mm -hmm. and it's about different countries mm -hmm. because ICE is a very international organization. So we have people from <laughs> all different places. And this month is about Poland. So there are three events. One is about the language. Mm -hmm. There's um, the other one is about like kind of virtual traveling around Poland mm -hmm. and, and the last one is about the history and the society in general more in a form of a discussion okay um, and you'll be helping them out on yes. all the three sessions yes. okay yes. and these sessions are free of charge yes yes so if anybody is interested in these programs yes. you just have to um, go to the website icehongkong.com and then you can see yes. Mata again <laughs> Yes. All right. So thank you very much, Marta, yeah, thank you. for today. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed our chat. And uh, this is just the first episode of Post in Hong Kong, um, Meet and Chat. And we would like to bring more Polish friends in Hong Kong and to chat with them here. Yeah. So until the next time, I would just say um, take care and keep well. But maybe I will also invite you to say something in Polish to our Hong Kong friends here. Um, yeah, so uh, I can end it with do zobaczenia, which means uh, like until next time or see you next time. Uh, yes, that is very nice. <laughs> okay, so see you next time. Bye. Okay, bye.